What up, Laker Nation? You here with your host, Kareem. You know how y'all doing? Everything good? You know I'm chilling. Season about to start soon. You know, um, I want to get it to Nate Robinson. Uh, about his boxing match last night. Um, first, I'm going to give a shout out to Nate Robinson. It takes a lot of heart to get in the ring. I, I, I've been in the ring before. Um, it takes a lot of heart. And especially for a guy that played basketball, and the the step in a whole nother lane where you could get hurt and get embarrassed. But the thing why I want to uh, send out to people, you know, I understand the comedian. It's going to happen. You know, he been getting killed on social media. If somehow if anybody run across Nate, I want y'all to say, you know, good job. Because we don't want to discourage people for doing something that they love or something that they might think they can do. And, you know, Nate was always like a cocky individual, you know, getting uh, of a player's face. So a lot of people, you know, he's like a, a lot of people in the NBA, he's like annoyance to a lot of the guys in the NBA. So I see a lot of memes and they just killing him on Instagram and Twitter, which I already knew the minute he got knocked out, I said, oh, he, he about to feel it. I just hope that Nate mentally strong enough to, to brush that off the shoulder if it's something else he want to try in life, if he want to get back in the ring. Again, I just hope that he be mentally strong to to do this. But his game plan was all wrong, all wrong. I, I watched him. It's like he just wants to get close and get into a brawl. And Jake Paul figured it out early. They, what Nate was doing, Nate had his hands up. He threw like a little punch and was rushing him. Like took like two steps rushing him. And he was holding in the first round. So the guy just to it, I don't know if his trainer told him. Then he start, um, Jake Paul started stepping back. And he was getting a clear shot. Because Nate with this, without his, holding his hand, just diving right to him. He had no game plan, no boxing skills. It was like, it was a rush. He didn't take his time. He should even, even because I'm pretty Nate in good shape, so I'm pretty sure the rounds was wouldn't have been an issue. But he should have just. A lot of uh, fighters when they short, they feel that they cannot throw a jab. You notice a lot of short fighters like to fight inside and want to throw a lot of hooks to the body and stuff like that. But I think, in my opinion on this, you should still throw a jab to at least to get you in, because it's like. You barely see a short fighter with a good jab, which I think a jab is a jab. A jab is to keep a guy up off you, to give you some room. And if he had a better jab, but he couldn't really take a punch, so I can't really say that. Man, Nate, shout out to you, Nate, again. You know what I'm saying? But I just think a game plan could have been a little better. Um, I think it would have been much better just looked at the performance was dominant. And every time he got hit flush, he went out. So his chin looked weak. So it's not like he got hit with like combinations. He's getting hit like a good shot, and and it was a problem. So I don't really think me personally. I don't think boxing is his thing right now. But you know he got in that ring. Shout out to him. And any other fighter, any other basketball player, football player, if y'all want to try it, you know just take this thing serious. And, and, and also think about the backlash. Does he been get killed on social media? Just think about the backlash. You know, always tell everybody, keep when you put them hands up. Long as your hands up, that's one thing with Floyd. It's like a, a master. At. When your hands up, you ain't getting hit with them clean flush shots. Them clean sh flush shots come dead in the chin, dead in the head. When your hands up like this, the glove, it's taking away some of the power. Some people still get knocked out like that, but you keep your hands up, you going to be in, in better. That should always be somebody. That's why Floyd is, is good at what he do. When them hands up like this and you fighting, your chances is better. One day, the minute you start dropping your hands and you lunging, trying to get in the wrestling, you going all like this. And like I said, he ain't have enough experience even when he's holding. Damn, I like Nate. I always liked him because he, he's, like I said, a good athlete. He's good for the game. And, you know, it bothers me him getting clowned like this. And when he got knocked out, I ain't going to lie, 
I know how Evan Turner felt. Cause Evan Turner's like, he want to fight. Evan Turner, who uh, the NBA um, guard forward, he said he want to fight him. And I ain't going to lie. That's the first time. I'm like, well, I want to fight Jake Bull. Like, I felt so bad for Nate when Nate was just laying out like that. Like, you know, he just flushed him. And I, I said, uh-oh, it's about to be crazy on Twitter and Instagram. So, like I say, that's for anybody. Anybody who's watching this video, you know, um, when anything you do, take it serious. And be. that's why if y'all listen to me talk, when I talk sports, I go into details on everything. People be thinking some guys I hate on this player, that player. But I call it how I see it. That's how you guys going to respect me as, you know, doing this blog and thing and things like that. Y'all going to respect me because I'm calling it. I don't be old because I like this player. So I'm going to say some nonsense just because I like them. Or I like the Lakers. I ain't going to call it how it is. I got to call it how it is because y'all going to respect me at the end of the day. And so that's why anything I do, you know, like far as, if, especially sports or something, you have to try to be well-rounded. I think if Nate would have better defense, his trainer told him, because his game plan, it was clear what his game plan was. I didn't have to go to that. Y'all could watch it. He just wanted to just grab, get inside, just throw punches. I, I, I already, he wanted to get into one of those type fights. And the way his chin held up, I don't think that would have worked. But I think that y'all should, you know, just stay focused and, and take this thing serious. Especially when it comes to that boxing. And even football, where you could get hurt. Most of the sports that you could get really seriously hurt, you got to really be on your, your job. So I need you guys to show the love again. Y'all been showing love lately. Subscribe. Hit the like button. I'll be, I'm going to hit through like three videos today. You know, I'm feeling good. Um, hit the like button. Subscribe. Catch you guys later.